Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I'm extremely excited this week because I am going to get to show you my design album. Now, I'll probably do this for a couple of weeks because this little program is so powerful and it's got all kinds of ability. I'm just going to do a quick overview and I want you to know you can go to your dealer and you can order it now. It is available and it is such an incredible program. What this program is designed to do is to catalog your designs. Now we've got a whole lot of ability in this little bitty program. Now when you first open it, now mine obviously has already been opened, I've already been working in it, but if you had just installed it, the thing that would come up in front of you to start with would be the preferences box and it would be asking you what design formats do you want to work with? Well I'm going to definitely pick WAF because all the free designs I give you are in WAF and I give you five free designs every month within the Floriani software. And then I'm going to pick Baby Lock Brother. Now I you would normally pick the machine formats you're working with and I, once I've got that I'm going to say OK. Now the next folder that would come up is your watch folders. Now what this is saying is what folders do you want me to look in and cont also continually look in uh, because I know that every month I'm going to get new designs from Floriani. I would like every time I open this program for it to check in my free monthly designs and see if I had any new designs and bring them up for me to catalog. Now once I say that I would say OK and what you would have here is you would see it indexing the, the uh, thumbnails of all those designs. Now realize it's not pulling designs into this program, it's pull, pulling the picture of them. It's The design is still going to remain exactly where you have it in your computer. It's just going to show you the pictures here so you can catalog them and wait till you see the ability you've got. Now I'm going to look in my pending folder because these are designs I haven't categorized yet. They're just sitting here in my pending. Now the first thing I want you to know with this is I can look for designs any way I want. I can look for designs by name. So let's type in April. Any design that has come into my April free monthly designs that I haven't already put in a folder have come up in front of me. So I could look for them by name. If I had designs named flowers, I could, oh they're floral, let's go with floral, well flower, F-L-O-W-E-R, there we go. So you can see here's all the flowers I have. So I can look for them by name. I could also look by design format. So I have looked for the WAF and the PEZ, so let's look at the PEZ. So these are all the designs I have in here under PEZ format. So we can look like that. We can also look by a really cool feature called keyword. I can give a design a keyword and be able to look by that. And I'll show you that in just a moment. I think I've probably drug all my designs with keywords over here. So let's look at that. Let's let's look at that feature. Let's come on down and look through the oh, here's a here's a design. So let's select it and let's add a keyword. Now right now it has heart. I've already added one keyword to it. Let's also add Valentine. So it's a heart and it's a Valentine and I can add as many keywords as I like. So with that Let's go ahead and click on something else, or let's go back up to the top here. Now, if I wanted to look for all my designs that were heart, there's my heart design. So I have two designs that I've added the keyword heart to. But now if I want to look under Valentine, I only have one that also has the keyword Valentine. So you can add anything you want. And what's nice about this, let's look down a little bit and I'll show you another really cool feature. If I have a design, let me find maybe a Easter design. Let me see what I've got down here. Oh, well there's another, here's another Valentine one and it's a heart. 
so it has no keywords so I can say edit keyword now I already know I've typed in those others I can come in here and say let's see make this a heart and I also want you to make it a Valentine I want both of those keywords attached to this design so I've only had to type them in once and now I can select them anytime I want I can just select and add to designs that are already there so I could keep looking find designs anything here's a bunch here's some designs now here's some designs let's go ahead and select these I'm gonna select and notice when I select a design it tells me down here exactly where that design is in my computer so sometimes we don't know where the folder is well right here it's going to tell you tells me the size tells me how many stitches and it tells me how many color changes and over to the right there's all my colors so I can also double click on it and bring it up big if I want to see better in front of me I can bring it up larger to look at all the features on it now I'm going to go ahead and hold down my control key and select all of these that are Christmas I'm skipping these New Year's designs. I'm just looking at the Christmas designs right now. Here's a Christmas, here's a Christmas, here's a Christmas. So you get the idea. Now I've selected all of these Christmas designs. Now I'm going to come in here to embroidery and click on the little plus and you'll notice we have lots of categories in here for you. Now these categories were already set. I've added a few of my own but we have several categories set for you. Now I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to drag all these designs into that Christmas folder. So now let's look in Christmas so you can see I have put all those designs in the Christmas folder. So this is how we're going to begin to organize our designs. Now I want to show you a couple things. Now I have all of these designs and you can see if I click on embroidery anything that's in any of these folders comes up but if I wanted to come up here and say I want to see the applique designs I have well you notice I started typing in applique and here's a bunch of applique designs came up because I had added the keyword applique let's look at Easter there's some Easter designs because I added the keyword Easter to these so you get the idea it makes it much easier now let's go into some of these here's butterflies now in this category notice in I added I'm gonna type in the word pink I wanna see my pink butterflies because I added the keyword to this I added made this butterfly and I made it pink so you can get pretty specific very easy to work with these now let me show you another outstanding feature let's say I want to sort these designs I've got and I will take out my keyword I want to sort these designs now what if you're in a hurry the shower is in 45 minutes and you forgot to make anything for that baby so you have whipped out a quick diaper thrown it on the machine and you need to stitch fast so I need to sort by stitch count so I need stuff that has a low stitch count here and there you go if we come here we can see low stitch count so I can start looking through these designs in order and find the low stitch count and find a design that'll work on that diaper that doesn't have a lot of stitches in it the next thing that I can sort by I can come and sort and say I want to sort by the number of color changes so I want the designs that have the least number of color changes in them so again I'm looking and this is really nice because now I can see something that I don't have to babysit the machine I can just stitch the to stick the design on it click and go get dressed for that shower so you see how fun this is sort I can also stitch by the date modified so if I know I was working on a design last week and can't remember where I stuck it I can look by date modified because the last time I worked on it that's going to keep that and by file type and again that's PEZ, WAF, whatever our our um, uh, extension is and of course you can sort by name so how cool is this now it even gets better 
I'm just going to grab this tree and I'm going to right mouse click on this tree and I want to edit this design. Now, well first let's look. I could open this design with FTCU. I could tell it to open it in MDQ. So I can open it using the, the picture here. I can open it in whatever program I want to. And if you don't have FTCU or MDQ, you can open with and tell it which embroidery program you would like to open it with. So it makes it very easy. Now I want to edit this design. So I'm going to click on edit design. This is amazing to me. Look at how powerful this little program is. Now it has come in. Now this has the look of our FTCU, but obviously it's um you're missing a whole lot of features. This is a very basic program for you. It will allow me, I can select this and say maybe I want to change the color of the trunk. So I want to come over here and I want to change it to 199. So I've changed the color. I could come in here and say I want to change the color of this heart. So I can change colors in here. Undo is my friend so it does have an undo feature. I can also say I need to slow redraw this so I can watch this slow redraw to see how it stitches out. So you've got your slow redraw feature. We also gave you the ability to mirror image horizontal, vertical, and to rotate. We've also given you the um, ability to batch convert in here. So if you have a lot of designs you need to convert from one format to another, you have batch convert. We've got your hoops, your hoop sizes. We even gave you fit to hoop. So you have a whole lot of ability in this very small editing program. But something we gave you that I think is outstanding because a lot of times you've got a design that is just too big for the hoop you have. We also gave you the splitting wizard in here. So you can split a design, rotate it, resize it, change the color, fit it to your hoop or you can batch convert. So I think that's pretty amazing. And I have a lot of people that don't own any software at all and I'll show them how wonderful it is to have a template, to use template tearaway and they'll say, but I don't have a program that does that. Well, file, print, preview, we've even given you the ability to create and stitch out your template in here. And we do have a settings in here so you can still have some control in here. I may want to print the color analysis, I may not. So you still have the ability to use the print function in here and have your template that you can stitch out on your template tearaway. So it's a very powerful little program. Now notice here's my tree. If I want to go back to my catalog I can just click on my catalog tab and it will tab across as I work with things. They'll be here that I can tab between them. How cool is this? Now it also has a browse feature right here so you can go into the different places in your computer to find folders you want to watch or designs you want to look at. Makes it real easy to work with. Now this is a very brief overview of this program and we'll look at a little bit more of it next week. But I just want you to know my design album is absolutely phenomenal. We've given you a basic editing program with it. We've given you the way to sort. We've given you batch convert in here. It is an amazing program and it is an amazing price. So get into your dealers today and ask them about my design album. I look forward to seeing you next week with your designs all organized.